here we go again. So this is one of my favourite PC engine setups, if not the favourite. It's the original white PC engine with the CD-ROM add-on and the briefcase setup. So all fully boxed. There is some big stickers that's been on the box at some point. Some wear and tear, but overall pretty decent for its age. This, I've taken the unit out of this to make it easier to record, but this is the polystyrene you get with it, and inside you've got your power supply, AV cables, video cables, and the joypad obviously. And inside that as well would have been your PC engine CD-ROM interface system, so obviously all the instructions are here. Your system card is what lets it play the CD-ROM games, there was a version 2, 2.13 as well of this with more, I believe more RAM on them to play certain games and then they had the arcade card as well which came out which let it run some pretty impressive games and here, albeit upside down, is the interface unit so inside, as you will see it could do with a little bit of retro brighten, but it's all been fully serviced and new gears and it's all been greased as well and all fully working as you probably know the CD-ROM is prone to failure but this one has all been maintained and back up to full working speed so it's pretty cool really nice setup and nicely we've got an actual composite output because the original PC engine was lovely RF. Yeah, you could modify it, but by default it was just RF, which is really quite hard to get running on a UK TV to get Japanese RF running. So this is much more straightforward. Uh, you can put this on to lock them in place. And there's an eject back there as well. You lift that up and then you can pull the PC engine or the CD-ROM out. Uh, obviously you've got your volume and skip and stuff, so this obviously works as a CD player as well. Uh, and there we go. One of my favourite setups, I think it's just a class looking way of doing PC Engine CD-ROM stuff. Okay, right, thanks for having a watch.